welcome friends welcome to the knowledge club online today i am going to discuss about the secondary structures of dna at first i discussed about the major group and the minor group what is it double helical nucleic acid molecules contain two groups called major group and the minor group these groups arise because the glycosidic bonds of a base pair are not diametrically diametrically opposite each other the minor group contains the pyrimidine o2 and the pyrimidine n3 of the base pair and the major group group is on the opposite side of the pair the methyl group of thymine lies in the major group in the minor group n3 of adenine or guanine and o2 of thymine or cytosine can serve as a hydrogen bond acceptor and the amino group attached to c2 of guanine can be hydrogen bond donor in a major group n7 of guanine or adenine is a potential acceptor or o4 of thymine and o6 of guanine the amino groups attached to c6 of adenine and c4 of cytosine can serve as hydrogen bond donors the major group occurs where the backbones are far apart the minor group occurs where they are close together the groups twist around the molecule on opposite sides certain proteins bind to dna to alter its structure or to regulate transcription copying dna to rna or replication copying dna to dna it is easier to these dna binding proteins to interact with the bases the internal parts of the dna molecule on the major group side because the backbones are not in the way attached to each sugar ring in is a nucleotide base one of the four bases adenine a guanine g cytosine c and thymine t the first two g or c are examples of a furin which contains a six atom ring and five atom ring sharing two atoms the second two c t are examples of the pyrimidine which is composed of a single six four atom ring a base pair is one of the base pairs a t or c g notice that each base pair consists of a purin and pyrimidine the nucleotides are in a base pair are complementary which means their shape allows them to bond together with hydrogen bonds the at pair forms two the gc pair forms three the hydrogen bonding between complementary bases holds the two strand of a dna together hydrogen bonds are not chemical bonds they can be easily disrupted this permits the dna strand to separate for transcription copying dna to rna and replication copying dna to dna in a simple model the entire base pair structure is represented by the blue rod various individual atoms bond here the major group side the here the minor group side here the major group side here the minor group side five major forms of dna are double stranded and connected by interactions between complementary base pairs these are termed a form b form c form d form l form and z form first i discuss about the a dna a dna is one of the many possible double helical structures of dna it is a right handed double helix fairly similar to the more common and well known b dna form but with a shorter more compact helical structure whose base pairs are not perpendicular to the helix axis as in b dna it appears likely that it occurs only in dehydrated samples of dna 
such as those used in crystallographic experiments and possibly it is also assumed by DNA RNA hybrid helix. The same helical conformation is the most common seen one in double stranded RNAs. Repeating unit 1 base pair, rotation per base pair 32.7 degree, base pair per turn 11, inclination of the base pair to axis plus 19 degree, rise per base pair along axis 2.3 Armstrong, pitch per turn of helix 28.2 Armstrong, mean propeller twist plus 18 degree, glycosyl angle anti sugar poker C3 endo nucleotide phosphate uh, to phosphate uh, distances 5.9 Armstrong diameter 23 Armstrong. Next I come to the BDNA. BDNA the most common double helical structure. The double helix is right handed to 10.5 nucleotides per turn. The double helix structure of DNA contain a major group and minor group. The major group being wider than the minor group. For the difference in width for of the major group, many proteins which bind to DNA do so through the wider major group. Right-handed Watson Crick model. Repeating unit 1 base pair, rotation per base 34.3 degree, base pair per turn 10.5, inclination of base pair of uh, to axis minus 1.2 degree, rise per base pair along axis 3.32 Armstrong, pitch per turn of helix 33.2 Armstrong, mean propeller twist plus 16 degree, glycosyl angle anti, sugar poker C2 endo, nucleotide phosphate to phosphate distances 7.0 Armstrong, diameter 20 Armstrong. Next I come to the cDNA. This form of DNA can be observed at uh, some conditions such as relatively low humidity and the presence of certain ions such as Li plus or Mg2 plus. cDNA and BDNA consist of two distinct nucleotide conformations B1 and B2. The ratio of B2 conformation in cDNA is more than 40%. However, the ratio of B2 conformation in BDNA is only about 10%. In genetics, complementary DNA, cDNA is a double-stranded DNA synthesized from a messenger RNA, mRNA template in a reaction catalyzed by the enzyme reserve transcriptase. cDNA is often used to clone eukaryotic genes in prokaryotes. When scientists want to express a specific protein in a cell that does not normally express the protein, that is heterologous expression. They will transfer the cDNA that codes for the protein to the recipient cell. cDNA is also produced naturally by retroviruses such as HIV-1, HIV-2, simian immunodeficiency virus, etc. and then integrated into the host's genome where it creates a provirus. Some viruses also use cDNA to turn their viral RNA into mRNA viral RNA to cRNA then the mRNA. The mRNA is used to make viral proteins to take over the host cell. Next I come to the ZDNA. ZDNA is one of the many possible double helical structures of DNA. It is a left handed double structure in which the double helix winds to the left in a zigzag pattern. ZNA is thought to be one of three biologically active double helical structures along with A and B DNA. ZNA is quite different from the right handed forms. In fact, ZNA is often compared against B DNA in order to illustrate the major differences. The ZNA has a structure that repeats every two base pairs. The major and minor groups, unlike A and B DNA, show little differences, uh, differences in width. Formation of this structure is generally unfavorable, although certain conditions can promote it, such as alternating pyri pyrimidin sequence, especially poly DGC2, negative GN DNA supercoiling or high salt and some cations, 
फॉल एट फिजियोलॉजिकल टेम्परेचर थर्टी सेवन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड पी एच सेवन पॉइंट थ्री टू सेवन पॉइंट फोर रोटेशन पर बेस्पेयर सिक्सटी डिग्री पर टू बेस्पेयर पर टर्न टूल्व इंक्लिनेशन ऑफ बेस्पेयर टू एक्सिस माइनस नाइन डिग्री राइज पर बेस्पेयर एलॉन्ग एक्सिस थ्री पॉइंट एट आम स्ट्रॉन्ग पिच पर टर्न ऑफ हेलिक्स फोर्टी फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स ग्लाइकोसिल एंगल सी एंटी जी सिमेट्री एट लास्ट आई कम टू द एल डी एन एनशियोमेरिक डी एन ए टर्म्ड एज एल डी एन एज ए यूनिक प्रॉपर्टीज वन इज द एबिलिटी ऑफ हाइब्रिडाइजिंग टू द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री डी एन ए एज नेचुरल डी डी एन ए Another property is that the LDNA could be recognized much more weakly by enzymes than DDNA. LDNA and DDNA mostly behave differently because when LDNA bound to proteins, sugars, and the nucleic acids, the produced complexes were diastereomeric to those produced from DDNA. This lecture may be helpful to you. Thank you. Welcome friends welcome to the knowledge club online